I I carry pocket Dark Knight. Take Dark Knight everywhere with me. Someone says watch a movie. Dark Knight. Hey, I, I will put some music. Dark Knight. Just carry it everywhere. Want to listen to music? Put it in DVD player. Dark Knight. Alright. Dark Knight. Hey everybody, Mr. Catface here, and welcome to another Death Battle Reaction. Today, obviously the next battle is Whis versus Mitsuru. M Mitsuru. I'm sorry, I don't know who these characters. I mean, I, I know of Whis, and I, well, going into this, I had no idea who the Persona character was. I know very little about them still. But, yeah, it's going to be an interesting battle. Um, I have a pretty good idea who's going to win already, but... What can I do? I'm just gonna just a, just a guess to guesstimate. That's it's not technically not a real word, but you know. All right. Three, two, one. I messed up. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. And by okay, YouTube, you do you, YouTube. Okay, let's try this for a third time. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Death Final Card Game again. Please give us a release date. I want this so bad. Ooh, weapons, armor, skill. Or shit. I want it! <laughs> Can I please just have it? Can I get it on that website? I'm gonna check out this battle. I want it. I want it so bad. <coughs> Sorry. I'm not. Today, we're pitting together two queens of ice. Born into powerful, if troubled, families. Alright. Alright. And Mitsuru Kirijo, heiress to the Kirijo group and member of the Persona wielding seas. He's with them, Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death. Who would win? I think I know what he's gonna win. The world of Remnant is known for many things. Really? The vicious creatures called Grim, the hunters and huntresses committed to fighting them, uh -huh. and the Schnee family. The Schnee. Yeah, they're kind of like royalty, and their princess is White Schnee. As the of the family company, she grew up in a pretty cold home. Funny enough, the Schnee family expected a lot from White. It was considered essential that she live up to their highly influential name. Too bad for them, she had her own plans. Rejecting her father's wishes to remain at home, Weiss left to attend Beacon Academy and train to become a huntress. Literally putting the W in Team Ruby. Yep. Within just a year, Weiss established her own name for herself, saving the kingdom on more than one occasion and doing so with her trusty blade, Mirk Master. And that's for you! Okay, cool. It's a good ice fire wind harmony. Gravity. Well, they're not exactly bullets. They are vials of dust, which she can fire to enhance her weapon and skill. All right. Ironically, the Sea Dust Company is by far one of the largest producers and exporters of dust. Dust. They sell dust. Yeah. No, not that kind of. A genius. In the world of Remnant, dust is an energy source, often used to fuel vehicles, androids, and weapons. Wait, you have books? Nice and bone sticks. Air, lightning, fire, and water. Alright. Ice. And that is why they call you the Ice Queen. Yeah. She can also attack with that is why they call the Ice Queen. Windstorm, blocked attacks with barriers, and many, many other techniques. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, Mirtonaster is a surprisingly versatile weapon. Okay. She also uses dust to boost her semblance, which is basically her X-Men superpower. 
Armagigas, love it. Unfortunately, the Schnee family does suffer from some rocky relationships, with the exception of Weiss and her older sister, Winter. Yes. Yes, there's a certain resemblance. KFC, KFC! KF Schnee! Where did you get this chicken? I carry pocket Dark Knight. Take Dark Knight. Everyone ask me. Someone says watch a movie. Dark Knight. Hey, I will put some music. Dark Knight. Just carry everywhere. Want to listen to music? Put a DVD player. Dark Knight. All right. Dark Knight. That's pretty powerful. Where is my Dark Knight TV? I think it's over there. Food fight. That's a pretty powerful watermelon. <laughs> Yo. But greatest of all, with a combination of ice and her aura, she survived riding atop a speedy train crashing through concrete. Mm -hmm. By measuring the diameter of the resulting hole and applying the values of fragmentation, this means Weiss survived an impact equal to over seven tons of TNT. Teammate nearby, it appears she created over 2,000 metric tons of ice. Mm. Obviously, that much ice doesn't fit into two vials of dust. She's likely yeah. using the ocean as a base to insert fusion energy and vaporization energy from ah. the nitrogen in the air. Thereby freezing it like so. At most, this would require over 900 billion joules of energy, equivalent to detonating around 230 tons of TNT. That's a lot. Wow! No wonder she can push that big old robot around. Plus, Weiss can also move super quick, dodging missiles and even hitting bullets out of the air. And with nice. dilation, she can stay nearly untouchable while taking out her opponents in the blink of an eye. Like that old thing, float like an inner tube on the mm -hmm. lazy river and stay like you're pee in the morning. Please go to the doctor. Yeah. Throughout her journey, Weiss has overcome all mistake. sorts of dangers, but her most difficult task may have been the moment her father cut her out of the family, Ooh. leaving her financially broke and dismissed from her birthright. Ah, boo, no more Still, she's powered through and made a name for herself as a huntress. With the ruby team at her back, I think she's found the family she truly belongs to. Aw, that's nice mistake. Very nice mistake. I'm more than a name. Facts. You're a person. In the early 2000s, Unless you are just hard pressed to find someone in Japan who didn't know of the Kirito group. A global conglomerate involved in nearly I'm, again with Kirito. I mean, it's Kirito, but Kirito, really. The impressive company was a young girl named Mitsuru Kirito. Mm. Officially, the collective unconscious, a realm connected to every living being's subconscious mind, and within the collective unconscious what was that? dwells shadows, what's that? A dark night. of human psyche, which often appear as malevolent monsters. They're basically demons. They're stands. However, there's another sort more directly integrated with the minds of individual people, effectively becoming their shadow selves. Oh, some of them are demons who want to kill you, and some of them are demons who are part of your brain. Eh, 
The resulting explosion from his experiment released the shadows into reality to prey on an unsuspecting populace and unveiled the Tartarus, a citadel between worlds. The Earth was drastically changed with a new dark hour. An extra, extra hour of time occurring at midnight. Most folks didn't notice, though. The world basically freezes in time during the dark hour, including people. So nobody's got to pick up a new 25 hour clock. Because when the hour runs up, everything continues like nothing happened. It's like getting an extra hour of secret sleep. But secret sleep. People are able to operate during this hour, including Mitsuru, which she decided to take full advantage of. Right. Yeah, she felt pretty guilty about her family basically ruining everything and yeah. sending hundreds of murder monsters into the world. So she swore to fix her grandpappy's mess. And while she's certainly skilled with a rapier thanks to her time in Fencing Club, yeah, well, a fencing sword club. would never be enough to combat the hordes of shadows. Luckily, your face should never be enough to combat the hordes of shadows. That's one way to put it. She and her dad were almost murdered by spooky shadows. But this event also led to an awakening. Awakening. With the threat of death itself mere seconds away, stand. Mitsuru dug deep within and found her stand. a new weapon. Her shadow self. Her stand. Her stand. She became a person user. Persona user. A stand user. Thanks to this fateful night, Mitsuru can summon a manifestation of her personality known as a persona. It's called a stand. This was Penthesilia, who would eventually stand. evolve into her ultimate form, Artemisia. Well, Artemisia cannot really be killed, she does have her limits. When a persona is overtaxed or takes too much damage, it becomes broken and unusable for a short time. Like a stand break. Since Artemisia is technically part of Mitsuru's mind, when the persona is hurt, so does she. But this connection also grants Mitsuru her own set of special powers. Time freeze? She's a brain freeze. Ah, get it? Brain freeze? Ah. She can also sense the locations of people and layouts of buildings through analytical clairvoyance. She's also immune to ice and the cold, so I'm not really sure why she needs a giant fur coat. Everyone needs a good fur coat, Wiz. Come on. Carlotta. That's Carlotta. Cruella Cruella DeVille. If she doesn't scare you, then worry you will. Or C, which is much easier to say. The team set out to explore Tartarus, combat the shadows, and put an end to the dark hour. And stop Dio. While also scoring some extra credit, because it was technically an after school club. Japanese schools are way more hardcore than ours. And with a team at her back, Mitsuru has a tool to reliably summon personas with. And so came the Evoker. Probably like that. Might be a little disturbing to some people, so. Fair warning. Yeah, it looks just like a gun, and that's kind of the point. The idea is to use the gun to create an extremely dramatic experience similar to how Mitsuru first evoked Ah, I see. Specifically, this is accomplished by aiming the thing at your face and pulling the trigger. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely not how guns are supposed to work. Quite no. noble concepts aside, Mitsuru and her persona are an absolute terror on the battlefield. Oh, oh, God. God. Go Silver Chariot. Yes, she did. Boom. It's Silver Chariot. It was a goddamn cannon. Oh, the horror, but also cannon and dick. Mitsuru is quick enough to dodge gunfire. Heck, another Persona user is even fast enough to outrun a bullet fired by a Magnum. Those usually have a muzzle velocity of over 360 meters per second. And Personas can move even faster. The Odos can react to and catch an arrow in milliseconds. And Mitsuru has defeated her in battle. Hey, how about that time Mitsuru and her whole team survived an explosion that totally wrecked this whole bridge? Now, in my humble opinion, using my very own crafting munitions measurement chart, I can say this plan falls somewhere. That's a pretty good estimate. I don't, I don't use it. Yeah. But that's. Wait, real people? Boomstick? Yeah. Where are the interns? Hey. Who's that? Work out. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 <la
<laughs> That's a great joke. I love when I have shit like that. Well, again, taking nitrogen into account as it comprises 70% of air's makeup, we can apply its required fusion energy and vaporization energy. To find this feat, we need an energy output equal to 60 kilotons of TNT. Hmm. This can't all be attributed to Mitsuru as she did have help. And even after successfully ending the dark hour and redeeming her family, Mitsuru continued battling for people everywhere, one shadow at a time. One stand user. It to be just the beginning. Oh no, crap, no, I got this right, one. Alright, are set, and we've run the data through all Okay, I'm going to this, I always thought Weiss was gonna win. Oh, Weiss, so I don't know how I found her name. I've heard it both ways. But really... <laughs> sorry, that was a disgusting noise. No, I'm not sorry, actually, that was a great noise. She's not immune to ice attack, she's just immune to cold. And I think she was more powerful. I don't think she's faster, though. In defense... It's in the old crap with dead section, so that's pretty powerful right there. <laughs> this is messing me thinking right here. <laughs> dark night, dark night, dark, dark, dark night. The Dark Knight. Batman making the Dark Knight. <laughs> I think we is gonna win. I'm not letting Death Metal fool me. We is gonna win. <laughs> it's time for a Death Battle. <laughs> Don't that time. I like how they just start off fighting, there's no intro. Like, uh, they couldn't think of anything, they're just like, so they can fight! Flattery will get you everywhere. For me, just flatter me. Come on, do it. Flatter me, I'll give you anything you want. Oh, it's ice time. Is she gonna bring out her stand? Fighting in ice, ironic, and a waste of time. There's her stand, look at that woman. She's like a plague doctor who's also a stand. Ooh, icicle time, look at that ice whip. Wow. I never listened to, death, uh, to the music beforehand, but um, I, I don't like. It sounds pretty good so far. I can't really hear it that well though. Ooh, ice. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is what it's like. Yeah, people calling me. Rest of that being the ice small thing was just like, hey, I'm here now, bye guys. Oh no, it's back. Oh oh oh, pull more. Oh, mm. mm. pull Motley boy. Ooh. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> She's just like, no. What's that? Ooh. Ar what is his name? Armor getting. Armor guy. It's her stand now. Stand versus stand. Except that one's not really a stand. No, the armor one's not a stand. The, the other one's a stand. She's just a stand. I know I'm saying stand a lot, but it's just a stand. <clears throat> you guys couldn't tell, I like JoJo a lot. Ooh! He, he's protecting her. As annoying as this was, I have to admit, you fought valiantly. But now, you'll fall by my own hand! No, by your stand's hand. Alright, Misha stand. Oh, no mercy. Oh, she's about to freaking be Dio in freeze time. Persona break. She just gets out a gun. She just being gun, blue gun out. It's just like 
and <laughs> Witch is like, I don't know what just happened, man. Oh, you're about to die by the Stan's hand. Oh, here goes, there goes Weiss. Weiss is dead. Oh, Weiss is dead. And this, she's walking away for a little Stan boy. Seems like a dick like a death, though. Weiss was incredibly skilled. Her versatility oh, Weiss. I'm sorry. Was a challenge for Mitsuru, and, and she held a decent advantage in speed thanks to time dilation. Mm -hmm. Though to be fair, Mitsuru's analytical clairvoyance meant it would have been pretty difficult for Weiss to get the jump on her. Plus, Naoto's persona had to move around Mach 7 to catch that arrow in such a short amount of time, so Artemisia must be capable of similar speeds. No, not really. In some ways, yes, but we look for who can win the most matches overall, not just a couple times out of a thousand possibilities thanks to one good move. Yeah. Alright. This presented a unique problem for Weiss who has always been fairly reliant on ice techniques. She was forced to use dust which she has less experience with. Plus, Weiss and her summons have never dealt damage anywhere close to that oh shit we're dead explosion. Yep. Mitsuru survived by taking the diameter of the planet. That was the thing I was worried about. Then, considering how far Mitsuru was from the center of it, she took a hit worth over 21 tons of TNT. That's more than 20 tons. Frankly, Mitsu's survivability and power output outclassed Weiss. Mm -hmm. Even if we cut her major ice feet in half since she was aided by Yukari, Mitsu still output 130 times more energy than Weiss when she attacked that mech. Right. Numbers aren't everything, right? Sure, there's always a new way to look at things. For instance, yeah. Weiss's arsenal was limited by her aura and dust supply, while Mitsuru had no such constraint on her own powers. It takes a long time yeah. to restore aura, and remember, when a persona gets broken, it can just come back a few seconds later. Yeah. Which was extremely useful, as Artemisia could heal Mitsuru at any time, yeah. undoing whatever progress Weiss had made. Oh man, what an ice cold move! Hey, they like oh, these coats are fantastic. Look at these men. <laughs> He's there just to four coats. Yo, I love it. No chance. I want that coat to move up. Hey guys, I can kill guys. I'm cold. I have Dark Knight. Let's watch Dark Knight. Let's watch Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Ooh, time next best of death battle. Let's give me Dark Knight. Ooh. Ooh. What? Bro, Captain Falcon. Giant hit! Oh, oh my goodness! Huh? <laughs> Excuse me, it's Captain Falcon versus Johnny Cage. I. That's very interesting. Like, I would <laughs> never would have thought about that. No, I'm not gonna dress the giant cough, I just did. No, I'm not gonna dress Alright, now I got a losing streak of two. And both times I went against. Actually, now, for the first time, I went against the person I, I wanted to win. And this time, I was like, Death Battle is tricking me. I think that that girl's. That, that stand user's gonna win, but they're lying to me. They're tricking me. <laughs> they weren't tricking me. <laughs> Death Metal Way! Ah, gotta get to the chopper! I watched the Dark Knight! Ah. Ah, ah. Okay, I stopped now, alright. <laughs> but that was a very good Death Battle. I got really no complaints for it. It was it was funny. They had a pretty good battle animation. The music sounded pretty good. The research matches up. That was like a that was just a really decent death battle. Like, I got nothing to complain about. That was great. <laughs> Alright, well, I, I guess that's it then. <laughs> Next time I'm excited, though. I think... I really think Captain Falcon should win that, because he's just... I think he just looks more powerful overall. And considering, I think... I, I don't have a speed where he lacks to lightning, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he does or not. He might have a lightning fast speed. But then again, Johnny Cage has... I don't know. Can Johnny Cage scale to Raiden? I don't think he can. I think Raiden is more powerful than Johnny Cage. But I do love me, Johnny Cage. Just gonna get Captain Falcon, this is my puppet like, what for dinner, spaghetti ramen? I'm really torn. You know, Boomstick and Johnny Cage are basically the same thing, except they're not at all. 
think this is the longest time I've ever gone without ending the video. I kind of just say, that's a good battle, end video. And I'm just like, I don't know. I like talking. I'm in a very good mood today, you guys can tell. I don't know why. Because I got two things to do tomorrow. Like, two giant projects to school. Do tomorrow. And I'm just like, sit here, watching death battle. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I'll leave now. Have a good day. Endless. In the dark night! <laughs>